Kremlin spokesperson said Monday that more progress must be made in talks with Ukraine before Putin will meet with Zelensky. The UN is expected to once again call on Russia to stop its military offensive in Ukraine. Ukrainian officials said they're investigating possible war crimes after Russian forces attempted to disperse a pro-Ukraine rally in Kyrgyzstan, reportedly using live fire, stun grenades and tear gas. Shots were fired at a protest in Kirsten. Video circulating online shows people running. Some were injured. Eyewitnesses said military fire was directed at protesters. A shopping mall on the outskirts of Kyiv destroyed. Ukrainian emergency officials say eight people were killed by shelling Sunday. A fire broke out inside. The Russian military claimed rockets were being stored at the mall. Russia is now committing a real act of genocide against the Ukrainian city of Mariupol. For three weeks, 400,000 citizens have been surrounded without food, water, light, head. As the attacks on Mariupol intensified, Ukraine's defense minister accused Russia of committing an act of genocide. Ukrainian officials rejected a Russian demand that their forces lay down their arms and raise white flags in exchange for a safe passage out of the besieged port city. He repeated calls for international support of a no-fly zone over Ukraine. Moscow is afraid of our army, so they are fighting civilians. This is a state terrorism. That is why Kremlin most or must be stopped. They bombed everything. We don't have Mariupol anymore. We have to build this, uh, build, build this city from scratch. Russian shelling led to an ammonia leak at a chemical plant in Sume City. In his public address, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky played the sound of air raid sirens and said this has become normal in cities across the country. WHO has verified 52 attacks on health care in 25 days. WHO notes that this is more than two attacks per day, stressing that this is, of course, unacceptable and that health care must always be protected. The United Nations says the number of Ukrainian refugees is now at more than 10 million, and this includes millions who are internally displaced. Live in News Center, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.